Today we're going to learn some terminology uh, about feedback from a Bode plot. So here I've plotted the frequency response of the op amp that we were looking at in the last lecture. And remember that that op amp had a gain A of S is equal to A sub zero divided by one plus S divided by omega H. So it's a one pole uh, roll off for the op amp. Now of course, the DC gain is given here and at high frequency above omega H, the amplifier's response rolls off at 20 dBs per decade. This is the open loop response. When we put the amplifier in feedback, we know that we're going to reduce the gain So I'm going to draw the gain of an amplifier connected in feedback. And here, the gain is reduced to a value of A prime. Now, this response follows a line out until it meets the open loop response, and then it follows the open loop response. This is called the closed loop response. Note that we have a new pole frequency, omega h prime, but the point where the amplifier crosses zero dBs of gain or unity gain is the same. This is called the transition frequency. Okay, from this plot we can find a couple of things. One, we know that the closed loop gain is approximately equal to one over beta. So this is approximately one divided by beta. And we know that the open loop gain, or the difference between the open loop gain and the closed loop gain is called the loop gain, and this is 20 log of one plus T sub zero, where T sub zero is the DC loop gain. And this is equal to beta times A sub zero. Okay, so when we connect an amplifier in feedback, we see a couple of things. The closed loop gain is reduced from the open loop gain by a factor of one plus T sub zero, that loop gain. We do see that we have a three dB increase uh, a, a 3 dB frequency increase. And in fact, omega H prime, our new 3 dB frequency is equal to omega H times one plus T sub zero. And what this leads to is the fact that the gain bandwidth is a constant, the gain bandwidth product. So if we were to take A sub zero, the original open loop gain, and multiply it by the original 3 dB frequency, we would see that this would be equal to our 
closed loop gain times our closed loop frequency product. In other words, these are equal to the same thing, which is indeed our transition frequency, omega t. Now, one thing that we do notice is that we want to increase the gain in order to try and minimize the error in our uh, formula for gain, which is 1 over beta in the closed loop. And we can do this in two ways, by cascoding. Cascoding increases AV by increasing R out, but we get less voltage headroom. Yeah, alternatively, we can cascade, which is to use multiple stages. Gain is increased by being a product of multiple stages. And what we're going to find out here is that this costs more current and also stability. In the next set of slides, we're going to look at cascoding.